I'm stocking up for winter. I'm getting ready for all things winter and I'm getting the pantry organized and stocked up. And I've said a few times now, baking soda. It's a really important prep. And so today we're going to go over some reasons why you should have baking soda in your preps. Hello everybody. Welcome to Sutton's Days. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and we are all about pantry preparedness. And today we're going to be talking about baking soda. Those things are heavy, so I'm going to try not to lift it again. But we have 45 reasons why baking soda is good for your preps. Let's get started. If you're looking to keep that youthful complexion, baking soda is an amazing exfoliant. Yeah, I went there. I did. Use baking soda and some warm water to make a paste and it cleans your sink like nothing you've ever bought. A half a cup of baking soda in with your wash brightens your whites. Ha! Huh? No bleach needed. An open box of baking soda underneath your sink repels bugs like ants and stuff. Do you love fluffy scrambled eggs? Don't worry about adding milk to it, my lactose intolerant friends. Add a little bit of baking soda. Three eggs with a teaspoon of baking soda, you will have fluffy, fluffy, fluffy eggs. You know, you can freshen your carpet, you can freshen your mattresses, sprinkle baking soda on there, let it sit for an hour or so, and vacuum it up. Poof. Baking soda is an amazing grout cleaner. Yeah. Same paste. Baking soda and water. Make that paste, and that cleans grease like nobody's business. It's a great grease fighter. You worked all day, your feet hurt, they're tired, they're sore, they're aching. Put some baking soda in some warm water and soak those bad boys. You know, baking soda is like the original toothpaste, right? It's perfect for brushing your teeth. If you really need to, add some peppermint essential oil. Lightly, a little bit, tiny bit. Don't forget to wash your combs and your brushes. It's really simple. Fill a basin with some warm water and some baking soda and soak your brushes and your combs in there. Beautiful. Don't put baby powder in your shoes. Sprinkle a little bit of baking soda. That'll keep the smell away. For my friends who use curling irons, I don't. I gave that ghost up. So if you make a little paste out of baking soda and water and use it on your curling iron, you can get that grunge that builds up on there off. Did you spend a little bit too much time out in the sun? I feel your pain. I really do. Baking soda in a cool bath will clear that right up for you. You'll feel so much better. You don't have to go out and buy a special little white sponge to clean stuff off your walls. Baking soda. Baking soda, wet it down with a sponge, cleans up your walls really good. Do you get buildup, my fashion friends? Do you get buildup in your hair from whatever products you're using? Take a little dabby or shampoo and sprinkle a little bit of baking soda into it and then lather up with that and it will remove the buildup from your scalp in your hair and it doesn't damage your hair. Do you have a little one with diaper rash? Two tablespoons of baking soda in some nice water. Sit that little rashy bum down in there. It will help relieve that pain. Are you cutting fish or onions or garlic? Did you know baking soda will remove the odors from your skin? It's great. My friends that have heartburn, oh, do I feel your pain, right? Baking soda gets rid of heartburn. One teaspoon of baking soda in a half a glass of water, poof, it's gone. Baking soda is a great mouthwash. A half a teaspoon in a glass of water, stir it up really good, gargle with that, it's really good. Do you beat your hands up the way that I beat my hands up? My hands, all my poor hands, right? So if your cuticles are dry and they're snagged, right? Make a paste out of baking soda and rub it on your cuticles. Cuticles? It exfoliates them and it takes that problem right away. It's winter. Everything's dry and you're itchy. You just want to have like a little detox bath, right? Baking soda. One cup of baking soda and a quarter cup of baby oil into your bath. Kick back, relax, light a candle, grab a book, listen to some music, do whatever you do in there. I don't want to know. And it will detox your skin. It will make your skin feel better, less itchy. It's a great thing. Do you suffer from canker sores? That mouthwash that I talked about gargling with, use that and it'll help relieve canker sores. From experience, I can tell you this one. Okay, mosquito bites, bee stings, jellyfish stings. Take your baking soda, make a nice thick paste with it. Say you get stung while you're outside, make a paste, put that paste over the sting. It will draw the venom out of there and it will heal much faster with a lot less side effects. We all know to put it in our fridge to absorb odors, right? I have no proof of this one. I have not tried it, but you know I'm going to grab one of these bad boys and go outside and give it a go, okay? 
sprinkle baking soda around your garden beds and it will prevent rabbits from messing with your plants. For some reason, they don't want to cross it, I guess. So y'all know, soak your dried beans, especially if you think they've been around for a really long time. Soak your dried beans with some baking soda in the water and it'll soften them right up. The best, least expensive vegetable and fruit wash out there, baking soda and water. It's hot. It's miserable. It's hot. Did I mention that it's hot? You're sweating. You need electrolytes. You want to save yourself some money? Baking soda, Kool-Aid, hot water, a little bit of salt mix it all around in there. The Kool-Aid makes it drinkable, right? But with all of that in there, it replaces the electrolytes in your body. So important in this heat wave and so much cheaper than Gatorade. If you have tomato-based recipes that you hesitate to make because you've got GERD, you get heartburn, it's just too acidic for you, add a little bit of baking soda into the recipe. It reduces the acidity in the tomato-based product. You want an easy way to remove grease from pots and pans? Baking soda! Did you get a little over exuberant with the heat when you were cooking dinner and now you've got this burned on gunk on your pot or pan? Make that same paste with the baking soda, right? And put it on there, give it a little scrub, let it sit for about 10 minutes, go back, give it another little scrub, it should come right off. Glass cleaner. What? What? Stop it, Lisa. Seriously, glass, clean glass cleaner. Baking soda, water. Spray bottle, shake it up, mix it up really good. Spray it on, your glass shines. Four tablespoons of baking soda, one quart of water, mix it all together, it's an epic oven cleaner. Baking soda is great for cleaning your microwave also. Your garage floor get a little funky monkey, right? Sprinkle the baking soda on your garage floor. Give the floor a good scrub with like a push broom. Rinse it off, good as new or close. I've said this from the get go. This is my fire plan also. Put it down your chimney if you have a chimney fire. Put it on your grill if you have a grease fire in the grill. Have it near the kitchen in case you get a grease fire in the kitchen. It smothers the fire. It's beautiful. Are you suffering from pimples? I didn't get any through most of my childhood, but now every now and then they pop up. Make a paste with the baking soda and the water. Put it on there. It'll clear up. Oh, my sisters. Do you get frequent UTIs? 32 ounces of water, one tablespoon of baking soda, mix it up really good, drink it, okay? And it helps relieve the pain from UTIs. Are you finding corrosion on your car battery? Are you finding corrosion anyplace else that you have a battery, right? Use baking soda, use a paste with the baking soda and get in there and scrub that off and it will neutralize the acid and it will get that all nice and clean for you. As you know, your laundry hamper, your diaper basket, your trash can, sprinkle some baking soda in there. Makes the world a better place. Do you fight dandruff? Okay, so if you add some baking soda to your conditioner, really get it in there, right? Use that for about two weeks, should clear it right up. Do you love iced tea or do you love the thought of iced tea, but it's a little too bitter for you and ugh, yeah, okay. Take a pinch pinch of baking soda for a gallon of iced tea. It'll take that acidity away, make it smooth and delicious. And it won't get cloudy. Baking soda helps with split ends. If you add it to your conditioner, put it in there, get it all down focused, right? It'll actually help reduce split ends. So if you're hard on your hair, probably the best product that you could get is baking soda. I hope that this helped. I will have a PDF that you can click on down below so that you can download the entire list. It's an automatic download, okay? And you will have the whole list printed out for yourself so that you too can remember why having baking soda in your preps is so important. Until next time, everybody, be safe.